Welcome to Gut Talk TV, a YouTube channel focused on closing the communication and knowledge gaps in gut health. Please see our disclaimer and press the subscribe button below. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jake Begun. And I'm Dr. Yoon An. We are gastroenterologists from Australia. Today we are going to talk about medication called tofacitinib. Tofacitinib is a small molecule advanced therapy. You may also hear it called by the brand name Zeljans. Tofacitinib is available to treat adults with moderately to severely active ulcerative colitis who have failed conventional therapy or other advanced therapies. In Australia, it can be used as a first-line agent, but in other countries you may have to fail at least one biologic therapy to qualify for this medication. Generally, tofacitinib is not used in patients over the age of 65. Tofacitinib is a type of drug called JEC kinase inhibitor, so-called JEC inhibitor. JEC's are enzymes that are involved in activating the body's immune response, which drives the gut inflammation on ulcerative colitis. Tofacitinib blocks this process, so it reduces inflammation in the gut and elsewhere in the body. Tofacitinib is a small molecule drug, which means that it's less likely to stop working over time compared to biologic medicine. This is because your immune system can recognize larger molecules like biologics and develop reaction to them, which decreases their effectiveness. Tofacitinib works for you, you usually see an improvement within eight weeks. But some people may find that they begin to feel better as soon as three days after starting treatment, whereas others may require up to 16 weeks of therapy to have an adequate response. Tofacitinib is a tablet that you take twice a day. Treatment begins at a dose of 10 mg twice a day for eight weeks, known as induction dose. If the treatment works for you, then this generally follows by 5 mg twice a day going forward, known as a maintenance dose. Some people require up to 16 weeks of 10 mg induction, and some people require higher 10 mg dose for maintenance. Try to take your tablet at a similar time every day. You can take it with or without food, and if you are having difficulty swallowing the tablet, it can be crushed and taken with water. Like all drugs, tofacitinib can have unwanted side effects, although not everybody will get them. Some side effects may be quite mild and go away on their own. Any medication can cause allergic reactions such as rash or difficulty breathing or swallowing. The most frequently reported side effects that people experience when they are taking tofacitinib are headache, runny nose, and slight swelling at the back of the throat, feeling sick, or joint pain. Because tofacitinib acts on the immune system, it can have some serious adverse effects related to this. There is an increased risk of shingles in people who have previously had chickenpox. It may also increase the risk of blood clots in patients who have risk factors and may raise levels of blood cholesterol. Because tofacinum affects the way your immune system works, you may be more likely to get infection, as Dr. Vigan already said. Even a mild infection such as cold or sore throat can develop into more serious illness. To reduce the risk, you have annual flu vaccination and try to avoid any close contact with people who have infection. Your treating team can recommend you to briefly stop the medication when you get this infection. You should not take tofacitinib if you are pregnant or planning on becoming pregnant. Tofacitinib can't be taken in pregnancy because of the risk of damage to the developing baby. Use effective contraception whilst you are taking this medicine and for four to six weeks after you stop taking this if you could get pregnant. If you do become pregnant while on this medication, you should stop your medication and discuss with your treating team right away. It is not yet known whether tofacitinib is present in breast milk, so as a precaution, you should avoid breastfeeding while on this medication. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, please leave the comments below. Thank you very much.